through our area earlier this morning. Those have now moved out. They're over 495. If you're traveling up through the Boston suburbs this morning, Lowell getting a quick downpour. It may run into a little bit of that activity. I'm watching what's to our south right now. This is trying to track to the northeast. So over the next, say, two to three hours and maybe approaching our area. So late morning, early afternoon could see another shower or isolated thunderstorm pop up. It's an unsettled day, but a lot of the day ends up dry. It is going to be quite muggy. The heat and humidity both peak on Friday. Look at these temperatures Friday. Inland areas 90 to 95. Beach is even very warm, mainly dry this weekend. Maybe some showers and it looks right now like they time out mostly Saturday night or very early on Sunday morning. Outside right now at our beaches, We've cleared things out nicely into some sunshine in Narragansett, a partly sunny sky in Providence right now. Temperatures are on their way up. Winds are breezy from the south at 10 miles an hour. And we're going to continue with that breezy wind through the day again today. 74 New Bedford, 73 westerly, mid 70s in Providence. Very muggy air in place. I've been mentioning those dew point temperatures. When you get to that 70 degree mark, that dew point, the moisture in the atmosphere starts to feel oppressive and that's what we're going to see both today and especially tomorrow. It's a week uh, or a slow moving cold front I should say that's approaching uh, New England today that's going to spark those showers and thunderstorms. We're especially watching northern uh, in western New England, this area is shaded in yellow. Could be a line of potentially severe storms that develops late afternoon or early evening and pushes east. So for our area, we've got to keep a close eye on it. The risk of severe storms much lower for us, but there still could be a few that pack a punch. This is showing that spotty shower in a few locations through the afternoon hours. And here we are at 7 o'clock this evening. This is around that time that we'll have to be watching for any thunderstorms that were severe or possibly very strong to our west. and. Uh, as they try to push through between, say, 7 and maybe 10 o'clock this evening, could hear some rumbles of thunder, downpours, and gusty winds. Overnight tonight, some fog developing. We wake up to some of that tomorrow morning. It'll thin out to hazy sunshine and a hot day on the way for Friday. We're in the low to mid-80s this afternoon. Partly sunny skies inland. Beaches today mainly cloudy. Quick shower, but as we're seeing right now, there is some sun that'll be breaking through. Uh, low to moderate risk of rip currents, depending on your location today at our shoreline. On the bay, those southerly winds breezy with wave heights 1 to 2 feet coming up on low tide 930 this morning wanted to talk about the weekend future cast. So we're dry through the day on Saturday, a Saturday evening and night tracking an increase in the clouds and by uh, early Sunday morning, maybe a batch of showers trying to come through the area. Those should be out of our area by the eight, nine o'clock in the morning with the way things are timing out right now. So 92 for the high on Friday, 89 still quite hot on Saturday. Sunday is high near 85, not quite as warm. It'll take uh, some clearing in the morning to get back to partly sunny skies and a nice finish to the day. Your update future cast on WP.